Good morning. So we woke up and my boyfriend went to get us some coffee. So I dressed up and kind of got ready, but not really because I didn't do my makeup. Um, so we sat at this picnic table overlooking the river while drinking our coffee. We're gonna start like getting ready and going to a different town we're going to tremor and honestly the first time we've ever been there was a few years ago for my birthday and we fell in love with the place we literally fell in love with tremor um and we wanted to go back ever since so we're gonna drive there it's like an hour drive but honestly it's worth it it's amazing so it's 10 in the morning now so we're literally just gonna pack up like um our swimming suits and basically go um, I spend the entire day there. We're probably gonna have lunch and probably even dinner there. It's already really hot even though it's like 10 a.m. But some lunch or something well breakfast really but um we see a churro bar and we got churros there last time they were really nice but we're actually hungry like for food so but it says they have sandwiches as well so we're gonna have a look and then we're gonna walk around and we also see like a little engraving shop so we might engrave something if they sell anything to engrave So we have, oh, my hair looks greasy already from the heat. So I haven't vlogged much because honestly, we've just been kind of enjoying our time, but also it's just so hot. Um, but also there's just, there's just so many people. Like it's absolutely insane that I don't, like every time I vlog anywhere, like the, the amount of people there is insane that I don't really wanna like film everybody who doesn't feel comfortable or whatever, you know, because there's so many people. But we walked around, we had some lunch, and then we went into the arcades inside just to cool down because we were just so hot. I bought myself a hat because it was absolutely roasting. And my boyfriend got a hat as well. <laughs> Thank you. In the arcades from our tickets, we got some sweets which we don't, didn't even eat and then we got this little mini golf set so we got this for my nieces when they come over they can play and then i got my nieces like a frozen glitter pen set yeah and then we kept smelling like really really bad odor like body odor and then we started panicking that it's us that stink so we went into Aldi just now and we got ourselves a deodorant each and then now we're gonna go to this kind of swimming cove outside and see if it's nice we've seen it all over TikTok so we want to check it out we might even go swimming because we're just so hot um so hopefully we're gonna touch the water see how it is and then it depends also if there's like so many people then we might not go uh, but yeah, we're gonna drive there now and then come back here like for, for later for dinner or something, maybe the casino.
So we're on these water boats that we were on last time we were here and they're so amazing. We're just enjoying the weather and we're in the middle of the lake and it's really nice. And then after the water boats, I think we're gonna go and have some dinner somewhere. Even though it's very hard to find a dinner spot here, it's like all cafes or like, like sandwiches and snacks. Yeah. We're really enjoying our time here. It's a well needed break. I wish it was longer, but it's still amazing. So I'm gonna go have a bath, even though we have to like check out very soon. So, um, and I'm gonna use my, oops, my bath bomb that I got in pennies and it's so cute. But yeah, I need to hurry up because I may have to check out and go. <laughs> So we're leaving the hotel and I look awful. Bye bye. So um, we woke up, got coffee, sat outside drinking coffee and then I took a bath. I stopped talking because there was a lot of workers on that um a sword. on that corridor but yeah we woke up we had some coffee we sat outside and i had a bath not ones that i have a bath there and the whole purpose of this hotel mostly is the bath but obviously we were disappointed with it yeah yeah what? all good all checked out it was 12 o'clock just like the thing said well and you rushed me because the the email, the confirmation email said 11.30. So we went to this. I look so weird, don't I? But it's because like my no, face, so. my face was so red yesterday because I think it actually got a bit tan. Oh, that's so cute, the, all the umbrellas. I've seen that a little bit now, yeah. I think I do look more tan, don't I? Maybe, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we went to this random store that we just, we were going to go to a petrol station, but we saw the store, so we decided to stop there instead. And they had like weird flavored crisps or chips. But they had weird flavors. Like this is Tato Occasions and they're the spicy flavor corn straws. I've never ever seen them. We're gonna try these and then they also had peri peri chicken flavor Pringles, which is I don't know if we have ever tried. It sounds familiar, but I don't think we actually ever seen them before. It does sound familiar, but it does. I think maybe what we tried one of the times was peri peri. Was it peri peri chicken? Maybe. Okay, I'm not 100% sure. And now we just got ourselves wraps for breakfast slash lunch. I'm scared. And I got a coffee as well. I need it. I'm so cranky this morning. It smells good, but like literally, like it's only one third of the entire bag in there. Like, really? Yeah. Straws and they have holes. Oh. They remind me of something. Of those straws from occasions from the different bags. Oh, yeah. The mix. They're not very spicy as such. The video is so shaky. They're oh. definitely not spicy, but they're okay. They're all right, yeah. Yeah, they're definitely not spicy. They have a hint of tortilla, like chips, and um, they have a hint, a hint, a tiny hint of like tomato, and then some other spices. They're okay. I don't think I would buy them again, but they're not bad, mm. right? Yeah. Well, I would eat them, but I don't think I would buy them. Yeah. Yeah. We're going up, gonna go be going up this hill. It's called Vinegar Hill. And we were here last time and the views are amazing from that hill so we're gonna eat 
looks awkward but this is the tiny road but there's no way that two cars can pass the car behind us is going extremely slow you don't even have to get out of the car the views are just so so nice so the sun came out and it's actually very 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 hot uh, we were literally on the beach for like five minutes max and we got so hot that we're like let's go into the water we put our feet in and it's actually not as cold as we thought so we're gonna change and do our swimming gear and go swimming um i want to bring my camera but then i'm also afraid because both of us are gonna go swimming so we'll have to hide it in a bag or something like that i don't know I look crazy. Um, crazy good, yeah. <laughs> we were swimming for ages, for like at least half an hour. It was freezing at the start, but once we got used to it, it was so amazing. Like honestly, it was so so good. And then we just lie down on the beach and kind of dried up a little bit. We're gonna get like some food, something quick, like a hot dog each or something, and then just get a cold ice drink and then just sit and chill and maybe we're gonna go back swimming and back to sunbathing, I don't know. It's raining. Hi y'all, so we just had dinner with my family. Um, basically, for my birthday and my sister's birthday is coming up soon, so we had dinner and I'm wearing like a sundress. <laughs> Um, because it was very warm outside. It's still warm outside, but now it's lashing. You can probably hear it But we're going around shops looking for Some suitcases or luggage or something like that Same thing, isn't it? Um, for Spain because we don't have a big suitcase, but they're like sold out everywhere or They're crazy prices for small Not small, but for the hard shell ones and the hard shell ones they don't even fit much into them as much as the soft suitcases so i don't know we're gonna go to the shopping center and see if there's any there but we're a bit doubtful but we need something because we have nothing for the holiday i'm so hot but it's slashing like crazy just picked up the sheen my sheen order um for my holidays it arrived a lot faster than i thought and then it said on the um app however i'm very upset what is wrong with me i'm very upset and so is my boyfriend because basically we ordered him a lot of clothes because well not a lot but um because we literally could not find clothes anywhere like we went through loads of shops they don't have either sizes or the clothes are not just not not nice looking like they're ugly um or there's no sizes so we got sheen and i put everything in in a size medium but then we had a chat and basically obviously usually <laughs> usually they run the sizes run small in sheen like i would order I, I would always order a size up because i don't fit into them but so we went with large instead of a medium and everything looks absolutely huge and i think everything is going to be too big for him which is sad because he still has no clothes for the holiday he's going to try them all on but i don't think they're gonna like i think they're gonna be way too big for him so we're gonna have to run around and look for clothes for him to wear and buy something else. My my clothes look okay. I haven't opened everything, but they look like they will fit me, hopefully. And I was thinking of filming a whole like first I was thinking of doing just a sheen haul, and then I was just thinking I might as well film a whole holiday clothing haul um, before I pack everything. So I might do that this Saturday or even earlier and basically film all of the clothes that I bought for my holiday and maybe even a packing video or something so we will see um but yeah 
we're a bit sad because everything looks huge even though we were told to size up and I always size up so I don't know what we're gonna do I can't wait to go home to open my packages so I open them in the car and now they're literally everywhere on top of my legs because <laughs> they won't fit back in the bag so I ordered this sticker from Sheen and I actually really really like it um it was the hardest thing to put on honestly because every single letter is it's just a letter because normally stickers that I get would come it's all one sticker and you just stick it on but this is literally just a sticker part there's nothing surrounding it so it was very hard to put on so like I messed up there um I messed up on the L but I think it's cute especially from far away I need to fix up that those holes um but yeah i really like it and i've been meaning to do this for literally months my wardrobe is so messy so unorganized and every time i organize it it just goes all over the place again um because the shelves are really really large like they're very big so it's just very very awkward so i got these boxes and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna label all of them so like for example t-shirts leggings blah 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 and I'm going to put them on the shelves and just put the clothes in the boxes. Hopefully that will help me stay more organized. But like I said, I've been meaning to do this for months. So the boxes are a little bit dirty. So first I'm going to clean them up. Um, and also I wanted to use my label printer um, to make labels. But the label printer I have, it's like for tiny labels. So I feel like you wouldn't be able to properly see. So what I'm going to do instead is I got a permanent marker. And I'm just going to write on it and hope for the best. Um, yeah, so that's what they look like. And honestly, it was the hardest thing ever to write on them. Because they have these um, lines. But yeah, that's what they look like. And I have quite a few. So I'm excited. Um, leggings, t-shirts, skirts and shorts, jeans, tracksuits, PJs, um, jumpers and loungewear. So yeah, and then I have a separate area for like underwear and obviously a hanging area as well. So I'll put it all into my wardrobe and maybe I'll show you guys. As you can see, my shelves are like quite deep and long and wide and tall. Like it's just... I don't know um i can't even reach up there um so if i put clothes up there like i literally can't even reach them so um yeah that's what the shelves look like and that's how the clothes look i obviously threw them in there for a minute but that's how the clothes look and it's just so awkward and you can't see the back and it's just they're all over the place and they're too tall and falling everywhere so and i never can find anything so i end up like leaving loads of clothes on my chair so that's what it turned out like and obviously my clothes are not really in there yet i still have to put all my clothes in there but it's so much neater and cleaner um i love it so much i wish the boxes were a bit taller but it's okay i'll make it work so my my appearance i am in cleaning mode and decluttering mode i don't know what it is but i think i'm just fed up with constant mess and constant clutter and everything and i'm just tired of cleaning it and tidying it and i honestly can say i have way too many things like that <laughs> when i think back on it there's like clothes and things that i literally have not touched since i moved to this house and if that's the case like i've been living here for a, like almost a year and a half and if i have not touched any of those things i shouldn't have them in my house because they're just causing mess and clutter and there's probably way less fortunate people who would appreciate those things um rather than me just having them sit there and gather dust um i don't know what it is but i just literally want to get rid of everything i just want to get rid of everything now in fairness like i've donated quite a lot of clothes in the last year and a half since moving and even in this house like i've got rid of so many clothes um because i'm losing weight but also just because i haven't worn them in forever and stuff like that it just still looks so messy there's still clothes in my wardrobe that i have not worn for at least a year and a half and i decided to keep them for some reason but honestly just they're not needed so i'm gonna get rid of loads of things as well 
the boxes are really motivating me to reorganize my entire house but yeah i have this like need to literally reorganize my whole house <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,